you guys. I'm back. Part two of our um, garden journal. Now I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. Um, here is my um, one book that has the different sections. Now this would be my book three. So it has milestones and I used those really great stamps that has the big and um, big and little um, cursive or script writing. I'll try and find them for you and link them if you want. Um, but it makes a uh, real nice uh, printing on there. Here's a section for my plants. And then on the bottom, I just wanted to leave some little notes when they bloom, the location in my garden, where I bought them, I thought that would be um, beneficial because if a bunch of them didn't grow, I would know that I keep buying them at a certain store and I should not do that. And then pictures, if I can take pictures and put them in my journal here. What else do I have in here? Um, ideas and techniques. So this would be for next year, you know, if I come across any great ideas or techniques. Um, and that's what I've got in this one so far. Let's see if I missed anything up here. My plants. Nope. So that's my third little notebook. That's how far I got on there. So this would be my middle notebook. And um, this is going to be plants that I added. This is going to be my sketch of my garden. This is going to be seeds that I used. And I wrote down here little notes from where and the outcome. Like, did they grow good? Did they not grow at all? Um, did I put them in the wrong place? You know, just little notes that I can put in there for myself. Nothing there. Then I have... My garden, yep, I showed you that. Uh, successes and failures, that'll be very good to uh, write notes in here. Things that worked, things that didn't work. Insects and pests. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, plans for 2022. So these are things that I'm, I'm going to want to put in my garden the following year. So that's uh, quite beneficial there, I think, to have. And then seeds. Now, people give me seeds and things, or if I'll see a plant and I'm like, oh, I really like that, um, I could put them in some little... Uh, I guess maybe some envelopes. I'll work on that for next time. I'll write myself a note here. Seed envelopes, because won't those be fun to decorate and put in there for next year? Seed envelopes. And then you could store your seeds right in there. So that would be good. And then where they came from. Um, I have some that I'm putting in my garden this year. And I know that they came from my girlfriend, Nikki. And then on the front and back um, sleeves here, I'm going to put the word receipts. Because these are going to be the receipts for my plants if I plant any new ones in my garden. Because if plants die within a year, most places, if you dig them out and take the receipt back to where you bought them, you'll get your money back. Now, um, I've never done that before. And just think of the money savings that that would create. So by creating this uh, garden we're actually saving some money and some time. So that's my um, second um, little uh, notebook for my journal. Now this one, my first notebook for my journal has taken quite a while and I'm still working on it, but I have a just a few pages left here and I wanted to show you what I was doing. So when you open it up, 
I have my quote on here. And this is to remind me that this is a huge process creating this garden journal. And I wanted to remind myself to start simply. Um, the longest journey is made with the first step you make. So this is going to be my first garden journal. Um, and if I can um, keep up with it and enjoy doing it and not make it a chore, I think that I would like to do it again and again. You never know. And things, of course, will evolve and change. It won't be this grandiose uh, in 2022. Maybe, you know, times will be busier or things of that nature. But um, this is just a statement to me. There was a um, someone on YouTube and he said that in his um, video about starting his garden journal and I loved it and I needed to get it in here. Now I'm definitely going to decorate around here but right now first things first I'm trying to get the basics in and then you know it'll just evolve. We'll have wonderful decorations and things in here. So I have been putting pages together here to make them thicker. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I have been doing that with my glue stick and my catalyst tool. The paper in this uh, small journal here isn't very thick and I didn't want to see the writing on the back side. So I just, you know, applied my um, glue stick and then I put the pages together and then I smoothed it out real good so that it had a real good stick. So I applied those together here and then I wanted to start with my calendar pages and I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to take me forever to draw out all of these calendar pages. So what I came up with and it was just crazy that I turned around and I saw that I had this thing in my stash. Now I picked it up, of course, at a rummage sale, but it was monthly planner sheets. And it had 12 in there and of course I've tore them all out and this is what they looked like. Obviously they didn't have these paint splotches on it but I was using it as scratch paper. Um, so this one um, is maybe not the best but what I did is I cut it down with my paper trimmer to make it fit the size I wanted for my journal and then I scored it and I folded it to get it into half. Now, I did make a photocopy of it, and if anyone would like um, a photocopy of that, you contact me in the comments below, and I will get you a um, copy of that so you can print it off on whatever paper you want to put in your journal. This is a little bit uh, heavier, dutier, probably like a uh, 65 or an 80 pound cardstock that was in this book but I just wanted to show you um, look for these things at rummage sales you never are going to know when you're going to use them and maybe you could look online and see if you could find this a monthly planner but like I said I had it in my stash I'm going to keep these cardboards for um, using in a different project I'm sure but I wanted to show you, this was how I was putting them in my journal. I was using different kinds of washi tape and I was putting that in as another insert. And then I was putting two pieces together with my glue stick, smoothing it out with my catalyst tool. And then I went right to the next one. This one has mushrooms on it. So I was getting good use of my washi tape. And so then this was going to be April. And on this calendar, what I'm documenting is what's going on. So March 10th, we had 55 degrees and rain. I didn't do it on the 11th or 12th, but on the 13th, it was 60 degrees and sunny. And then 14th, it was 50 degrees and cloudy. On the 15th, we had two inches of snow. 
and then today the 30 or uh, the 16th it's 36 degrees so it's just going to document the weather patterns and if there's something significant in here also let's say um no rain no rain no rain uh, and i and i watered i sprinkled or i put fertilizer down this is where i'm going to document that too and i'll have this whole page for notes for March. So March, I'll have this whole page and this whole page of notes, things that I want to remember about March. So then I'm going on to April. Here's my April spread. I'm going to have this for notes and this for notes. I doubled up these pages and then I put down washi tape and I put in my May. And then I put down washi tape I doubled up those papers, pages, and I'm going to have notes for June, and then notes for June, and then so on and so forth. So this is July, and I did round these corners for my pages. I thought that it would be nice because... Uh, all of the pages are rounded. So I use my corner rounder and I can link that for you too. Now, as you can see, I have some really cool washi tape. Well, of course, when I did my butterflies and I did my mushrooms and I did my little um, animals, I have some deer and squirrels and birds on this one. I'm like, well, I need more uh, washi tape that would be like garden theme or things of that nature. Use what you have. I have a problem. So I um, looked up um, washi tape in a garden theme. And of course, they had some. This is what it looks like. I just got it today, so I am finishing my um, calendar pages with these beautiful um, garden-themed botanical washi tapes. Really cute kit here, um, and they are very, very sticky. Some of mine is getting old, so it's unfortunately not very sticky. So um, I did purchase that, and I'll try and link that below for you also. And they have some really neat stuff. They have like um, nautical, they have flowers, they have um, really neat washi tape. I can see how you can get addicted to washi tape. So here I've got July, my two pieces together for my notes. I've got August washi tape, my notes. I put down butterflies again because we're going into September. So I thought that would be good for the color because these are going to be decorated, you know, as we go along. And then I was going to show you how I just go ahead and did one of these. So I'm putting this uh, glue stick in here. And the glue stick that I like to use, what I have the most of, is this Elmer's Craft Bond All Purpose uh, 40 grams, 1.4 ounces. And I'll try and link that for you also if you're interested in that. I just um, noticed that this, this glue stick works pretty darn well. So I'm going to put my page together. I'm going to use my catalyst tool to smooth out any air bubbles. That gives it a really good adhe adhesion when you're putting together your papers. I'm going to do the same on this side. And then you can see my book's getting pretty full here. So I just did September. So I'm looking for my October. Set this stuff aside. Here's my October. And I think October, I'm going to go ahead and use some mushrooms because I'm sure there's some kind of mushrooms around in October. I just kind of eyeball it here. I move this out of the way and I put my paper down. 
my calendar insert stick that down and I'm working on kind of a non-stick surface here it's contact paper I'm going to fold that back over itself and I'm going to stick it in here right into that seam and then I'm bringing my paper back over I'm giving it a good push down so there now that one's adhered in there and like I said it's getting kind of thick here so it, it will be fine you know it's is what it is I'm gonna put this in and then I'm gonna use my catalyst tool to push that in so that it gets gives a good solid adhesion there I didn't get a very good stick so I'm gonna do it again because it's getting quite bulky maybe if I went this way up Think that would work okay so there October's in not too wonderfully I'll have to maybe redo it off camera it's kind of hard sometimes to do it in front of you I'm trying to keep it in the camera and all of that so you're getting the idea of what we're going for here and your journal may be totally different and that's fine I'm just giving you some ideas here and my ideas of course may not be the most wonderful but it's what's gonna work for me and I'm starting simply like the quote says I'm not stressing out about it I'm having a good time and I'm going to really like sitting on my deck this spring and writing in my journal all right so I'm gonna finish this I've got um, November here I'll put that in then I've got a page and I'll stick the page together and I've got December and I'll stick that in and I'll have the two pages stuck together I can do that off camera I'm only going to December because if anyone knows what the weather is like in January and February there is no way I'm going to be able to do any gardening because we have lots of cold and really really cold temperatures now maybe for some people they may sow their seeds in their house and get those started I'm not that good yet and I'm not saying I won't ever be but maybe um, while this is still kind of wet I'm going to keep it with a big clip there so that gives it time to um, adhere that glue and make sure you click the cap on your glue stick so I'll finish that off camera and it'll be ready for the next time and I'll show you how it looks now what our homework is for this next time is to get your papers out here is what I've dug out these two pages are um, well wallpaper paper wall paper covering so I liked how those looked I got this paper pack and it has some flowery type things in it 
So I'm going to sit tonight and I am going to look through and I am going to find out what I want to cover the front and the back with and the insides and the pockets. And that's what we'll work on next Saturday. So just kind of get your papers together. Do your calendars if you want your calendars in there. Continue on your stamping. And don't worry about cutting these to size. We'll go ahead and we'll work on that next Saturday. So have fun and don't get stressed out about it. It's going to be perfectly, perfectly fine. I love this one. This is definitely going to go in my uh, garden journal somewhere, but who knows? Okay, so don't stress out about it. Just keep continuing on. And next time, we're going to work on covering the front, the back, and the inside pockets of our inside inside journals. And then from there, the following week, I think we'll be able to work on the cover. And I got that back here. Here's the cover. So when you're picking out your papers, maybe keep that in mind that you're going to need something really neat for the cover. Now, um, I wanted to show you that I did do the technique that we were talking about, um, creating that leather-like material. And I'm kind of leaning towards this for my cover. I love the texture, absolutely love it. I would love to have a border with that. Excuse me, but I'm not sure. I'm still on the fence. And not to give you any more to think about, but I want to show you these cute little things. Um, they're little floral embellishments that I got when I did a craft haul this last weekend for my birthday. These are going to look amazing with this art journal. So start kind of digging through your stash and seeing if you've got any flowers or, or leaves. And we can definitely use leaves from outside. Um, I'll see if I can find these. Um, I'll link for these. But absolutely fun. Okay, so don't stress out. Have fun. And I'll see you back here next Saturday. Thanks for stopping and let me know if you want the um, copy of this because I'll send you that. I'll um, put your comment below. I'll message you and get your email and I'll email it over to you and you can print it off. How's that sound? Okay, have fun. Don't stress out. This is going to be an amazing project and we've got several weeks left. Don't, don't stress out. Okay, we'll talk to you next week. Have fun. Bye.